Good day, grade 8 learners! In today's video, we are going to learn factoring quadratic trinomial where A is not equal to 1. Here's what we need. Something to write on, a notebook or a paper. And something to write with, a pen or a pencil. To maximize your learning, you could pause and replay this video as needed. Now brace yourself to another dose of mathematical prowess. This is Cebu City Dep Ed Math 8, Quarter 1, Module 1 Factoring, Lesson 6, Factoring Quadratic Trinomial, where A is not equal to 1. Are you ready? What you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to find the missing value to complete the factor of the quadratic trinomial and factor the perfect square trinomial where A is not equal to 1 completely. What's in? To recall how to factor a trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1, let us take this example. Factor x squared plus 8x plus 15. Step 1. Find the factor of the first term. The factors of x squared are x times x. Step 2. List all the pairs of numbers with a product equal to 15, which is the last term, and find the sum of each pair. 1 plus 15 is 16. 3 plus 5 is 8. Step 3. Choose the pair that adds up to the middle coefficient, which is 8, of this expression. And that is 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. And then, we write the factors. Therefore, x squared plus 8x plus 15 is equal to the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 5. You got it! Now what's new? Please get your pen and paper. In 3, 2, 1. Here we go. We have some factors here x plus 2, x plus 7, x minus 4, x plus 3, x plus 6, x minus 3. Now, choose from the strips above the possible factors of the given expressions. Number 1. x squared plus 5x plus 6. The factors are x plus 2 and x plus 3. Number 2, x squared plus 4x minus 21. Now this time, you solve it. Good job! That is, x plus 7 and x minus 3. Again, you can pause and replay this video as needed. And lastly, number 3, x squared plus 2x minus 24. The factors are x minus 4, and x plus 6. Bravo, ladies and gentlemen! Now, what is it? At this point, you are going to learn how to factor quadratic trinomial where a is not equal to 1. How do you think? Do this differ from the quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1? So, let's ask the question, how to factor quadratic trinomial where A is not equal to 1? Here are the steps. Step 1. Multiply the leading coefficient and the constant or A times C. Step 2. List all the numbers that multiply to equal the products of your AC 
and choose that which adds to B. Step 3. Write the temporary factors with the two numbers. Step 4. Put the original leading coefficient under both numbers. Step 5. Reduce the fractions if possible. Step 6. Move the denominator in front of x. And lastly, step 7. Check your answer. Now let's put this into action. Factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. Step 1. Multiply a and c, which is 2 for a and 5 for c. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Step 2. List all the numbers that multiply to equal to the product of your AC, or in this case, 10. And then, when you add them, it should be equal to your middle term, which is 7. So, 1 plus 10 is 11. 2 plus 5 is 7. Alright. So, we have here our 2 and 5 because it is equal to 7, which is the middle coefficient. Step 3. Write the temporary factors with the two numbers, x plus 2 and x plus 5. Do you remember your 2 and 5, which is the sum, or which are the addends of 7? That is right. And then, step 4, put the original leading coefficient under both numbers. Put them under 2, here, and under 5. Step 4, reduce the fractions if possible. Now, 2 over 2 is equal to 1. You can reduce that. But 2 over 5 will not give you a whole number. So, let's leave it as it is. There you go. And lastly, for number 6, for this 2 here in the denominator, you are going to put that in front of your x. Your 2 put in front of your x. And it becomes 2x plus 5. And lastly, step number 7, you check your answer by distributing or by the distributive property of multiplication. x times 2x, x times 5, 1 times 2x, 1 times 5. And then we simplify and combine like terms. Yes, that's it. We get our original expression 2x squared plus 7 plus 5. Therefore, 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 is equal to the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of 2x plus 5. Good job! Let's have our second example. Again, multiply your a and your c. Next, list all the factors that will get you the sum of the middle term when you add them. For example, the factors of 8, negative 1 and negative 8, it will give you 8. Negative 2 and negative 4, it will also give you 8. But then, it is negative 1 plus negative 8. Again, it is a negative 1 plus a negative 8. That will give you the sum of negative 9. And that negative 9 is your middle coefficient. And so therefore, you write the temporary factors like so. The negative 1 and the negative 8. And then, next step, you are going to put the original leading coefficient under the numbers. 1 over 2, 8 over 2. Then, reduce the fractions as possible. You cannot reduce one half, or you cannot express it as a whole number, so leave it as it is. 
but here we have 8 over 2, we can reduce it to a whole number, which is 4. And for this, that which we cannot reduce, we are going to put that in front of our x here. And then, lastly, we check our answer using... That is right! You are actually listening attentively. That is, the distributive property of multiplication. Good job! And so, therefore, 2x squared minus 9x plus 4 is equal to the quantity of 2x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 4. Bravo, ladies and gentlemen! Now, what's more? It's your turn this time. We have activity 6, two sets of activity, set 1 and set 2. Set 1, fill in the missing values in the factors. Apply your knowledge in factoring general trinomials where A is not equal to 1. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. Again, that's a separate sheet of paper. So, number 1. 3y squared plus 14y plus 8 is equal to the quantity of 3y plus blank. You fill that up. Times the quantity of y plus blank. You fill that up. Number 2, 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. Number 3, 8m squared minus 2m minus 15. Number 4, 6x squared minus 25x plus 14. Number 5, 9n squared minus 56n plus 12. And then our set 2, you are going to factor the trinomials completely. So, overall, you have 10 numbers to answer. Again, answer them in a sheet of paper. And don't forget, when do you submit your work? Please submit them on time. Thumbs up? Good job! Now here is what you need to remember. To factor quadratic trinomial where A is not equal to 1, follow the steps. Step 1. Multiply the leading coefficient and the constant. Step 2. List all the numbers that multiply to equal the product of the leading term and last term. And then, get the sum of the middle term coefficient. Step 3. Write the temporary factors with the two numbers. Step 4. Put the original leading coefficient under both numbers. Step 5. Reduce the fractions if possible. Step 6. Move your denominator in front of x. Step 7. Check your answer. And of course, always remember, the laws of adding and multiplying integers will come to play in this factoring method. What can I do? Factor the following polynomials completely. Use any, any of the techniques that you had learned where it is appropriate. Can you remember those techniques? Yes, yeah, sure you do. Let's recall them. The techniques are Number 1. Common monomial factor Number 2. Difference of two squares Number 3. Sum and difference of two cubes. Number four, perfect square trinomial. Number five, quadratic trinomial where A is equal to one. And the last technique that we learned today is number six, quadratic trinomial where A is not equal to one. And don't forget, when do you submit your work? Please submit them on time. That's it. Congratulations! You just finished 
Quarter 1, Module 1, Factoring of the Grade 8 Module. And you are now ready for the next module. Please remember the following reminders. Make sure every answer sheet has your name, grade and section, and title of the activity or activity number. Number two, follow the date of submission as agreed with your teacher. Number three, keep the modules with you. Please, please, please take care of them. And lastly, return them at the end of the school year. Thank you so much, everyone. Once again, this has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kay. Please keep on learning and have a bountiful day.